Hey there Internet, Beaverchip here. This is part two of a tutorial built video on how to build a combination lock door with added security door. Um, we had an intro video, was uh, part one, so if you want to see how it works inside an actual um, vault, you can take a look at mine over there. Um, right now we're going to talk about this yellow section here. Um, the function of the yellow section is to decide if I have the correct combination um, of levers up and down. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is pick a wall where we want our um, levers to be placed on. Um, you really are going to need a lot of space behind the wall to build this contraption. So it's a good idea to um, pick somewhere like underground where you can excavate a lot of area behind it. Um, this really would be tough to build above ground and hide all the wiring. So um, try to pick a spot underground. Uh, the yellow wall here is where I'm going to build my um, combination lock. Um, and what I'm going to do is start by placing um, six levers side by side. Um, these levers are what determines the combination lock. Um, so it can be up or down. And for every lever you have, you can use more than six or less than six, but for every lever you have, you have two to the exponent of that number of leather, levers possibilities for your combination. So the more levers you have, the more possibilities you have, and the more uh, secure your vault will be. Um, six levers has 64 possible combinations. Um, so once your levers are placed, you're going to go around the back side and give a place for the power to come out of those levers. So I'm going to put a little ledge down. And in order to keep the signal separated coming out of the levers, I'm going to use repeaters. Um, if you are not too comfortable with redstone wiring, you might want to check out some of my um, tutorial videos on basic and intermediate level wiring uh, to see why I do the things I do. But for now, you can just follow along and build it as I build it. Um, nextly, in order to come out, to have the power come out of um, the repeaters, I need another block. So I'm, for now, I'm going to do every other one and get some power coming out of those repeaters. And since I can't have redstone next to each other here, because I don't want these wires getting crossed again, I'm going to bring out that signal even farther with repeaters. So every other one will be uh, double repeater. It's actually triple repeater um, in order to keep the wires separate. So this way um, that redstone wire can't cross over with those repeaters and a place for that signal to come out. Uh, now I'm going to only um, work with the three that are sticking out farther here. Um, I'm going to build what this part of the combination lock above ground and what would happen then later is the, um, the three that are going down like this um, they would get the same exact build but below ground. Um, so those wires are going to travel underground and they're going to get the same exact build um, but again underground so they can stay separate. Um, so now what I have to do is decide if I want my levers to be up or down as part of the combination. So I'm going to turn off instant mine here real quick. And uh, if I want this to be down as part of the combination, then power is sent through normally. But let's say I want this one to be up as part of the combination. Then I have to invert that signal. And let's say I want this one to be down. Then I just pull some wire out. So see what I've done here is um, in order for this combination lock to work, 
the first one and the fifth one have to be down and the third one has to be up second fourth and sixth I haven't taken care of yet but um, I'm getting power out of those three um, as long as those levers are how they are now um, so now I need to combine these three signals into a uh, triple AND gate and a triple AND gate looks like this it's similar to the logic gate just an AND logic gate except for it takes three signals in and um, if all three signals are active then we will get power out right now. Right now only the one is connected so the power is not coming out. Um, I'm going to loop around my wire and run it directly into the block like this. If I were to run it like this, it, even though it looks like it's connected, it doesn't work. So I have to loop around and run my redstone wire directly into this left hand block and then do the same thing on the right hand block. So now if we look at it um, the way that those three levers are set up um, has all three running into this triple and logic gate and the power will only come on if those levers are in the correct position. Um, I could easily make this one inverted or this one inverted which would mean those levers would have to be up um, but I want for right now just to keep those as down so you can pick any combination of up and down to make your combination lock work so now I've brought you back over to um, the fully built setup so I can show you um, that yo those yellow blocks over there are exactly what I've built here and I want to show you that down below is the exact same build as up above um, they're just built it's built down below so that they can be separated and done out of the way. So those three signals from above are coming down and in this case I had um, one lever down and two levers up. Uh, actually all three should be down if this combination were correct because um, notice there's no power coming out of this logic gate right now. So it's the exact same build as we had before with the triple and gate and three signals coming in and the signals could be inverted or um, they could just be straight and um, then I send that signal back upstairs to move on to the next section. Alright, the next thing I have to do on my combination lock is combine the signal of the three uh, lever power, the triple AND gate from upstairs and the triple AND gate from downstairs. Um, so I brought that one up from downstairs and here's the one from upstairs. Those two have to be combined into one more AND gate um, so that if all six levers are in the correct position we will end up with um, a fully log logically functional AND gate. And actually I don't need that. I need uh, like this. Three blocks with a torch on top of the two ends and one on the back side and a piece of redstone in the middle. So now um, this signal right here coming out of the system will only be active if all six levers are in the correct up or down position which again you get to choose um, whether they're supposed to be up or supposed to be down by is it inverted or not at this location. All right, the last thing I want to mention in part one is that um, the signal right here that we're looking at coming out of the combination lock um, goes on to be connected with later sections because each section kind of intermingles. Um, just know that uh, right here, um, this is the signal saying yes, all the levers are in the right position or no, one of them is in the wrong, at least one of them is in the wrong position. Um, so that'll get intertwined with later sections. Uh, that's it for part one. Part one or part two, we'll talk about the green section, which is a power pulse.